It's funny how so many things come full circle. Things that were once in vogue fall out of style and then find their way back years later. Hopefully this won't be the case for fanny packs. But within the last year, coloring books have found their way back into the mainstream for adults. Once a month, the Duxbury Free Library hosts an adult coloring night. So we stopped over to get a look. This summer, it seemed that the world went crazy about coloring, and I just saw coloring books in bookstores and everywhere I went, and I got into it myself, and different people I talked to that worked here also were into it, and we said, hey, if we like it, other people might like it, and so let's go for it. Let's have people come to the library and color. We have a few local people, but I have a meetup group online, uh, Duxbury Free Library, Coloring for Grown-Ups, and so we get some people from around the South Shore. There's usually different people every time, and one or two regulars. It's all been women so far. So what seems to be the cool thing about coloring is that because you're just doing the same motion over and over again, it sort of lets your brain quiet down a little. So you're being creative, but also relaxed at the same time. And so you get into a happier place because you're calm, and, but you're thinking at the same time. We started the group in September, so it hasn't been going on very long. It's going on for the foreseeable future, the third Thursday of every month from 6.30 to 8 o'clock. We're really excited about the coloring night in May, which is, I think, the 19th, Thursday, May 19th. The Duxbury Rural and Historical Society is working with us to have a joint coloring program, and they're going to take images from wallpaper or rugs in their historic houses and turn them into coloring pages, and Carolyn and Lori are going to talk about Duxbury history while we color, so we're excited about that. We've had about five or six people each week, each month, I mean. And it's a nice, calm group. We're pretty chit-chatty, but... I just like having things happen in the library that aren't necessarily just about studying or finding the new book. Um, we like having a nice, different program for the community. It's free, um, it's happy, it's easy. It's enjoyable to kind of get back into that kid headspace where you, all your cares are just what color do I do? And it's creative, but anyone can do it. 